Well, Rudy and Kate, we've been fishing here in Treasel for a couple of days now. Uh, comes straight from a heat spell and then to pouring rain. So, what what I wonder about what do you think about the fishing in Treasel? I guess we should have been here next week. <laughs> uh, weather has been very hot here. The temperature of the water has been well into the twenties, which means there's very little oxygen for the fish. Now it's dropped to 15 degrees, which is a lot better. There should be enough oxygen now, so we expect some good fishing for the next few days, but it has been quite hard. You hooked into a pretty nice one? I did hook nice into one. a pretty nice one. I changed my, my system, and, and I think that's the point about fishing, is when the weather does change, you keep looking for, for other ways to, to locate or, or to coax the fish into a different kind of meal. So I went with the uh, weighted nymphs and I got teased at first because I, had, I was having a hard time casting my line, but it was shortly after that that the tease stopped and I hooked into a, a pretty nice grayling. Unhappily, my knot failed at the end of the fight and uh, I lost that nice grayling before I could touch it. But I saw it and it was, it was pretty nice. But I was probably the largest grading I've looked into. Oh, that's not. According to your point system, though, it's still a two-pointer. It's a two-pointer. So, not two good. points, but a two-pointer. Uh, for anglers coming to Tree Sill and experiencing what you have experienced now, what do you think is the key points for the angler to do? You, you mentioned a little bit about changing and adapting to the fish, but this is a special river, and special. For especially for people outside of Norway, the large river, what do you think is the key points for for an angler to be able to do when he comes here? You should be able to try different techniques. When the water is warm, for instance, fish will often move into the rapids, into the fast water. You need to be able to fish check nymphs there, short lines with a set of nymphs, heavy weighted nymphs to go deep into the rapid water. If they move into deeper water, should be able to fish weighted nymphs with a long leader and a strike indicator. Maybe if they are coming to the surface but not really taking anything from the surface, you should be able to fish a wet line. And otherwise, maybe fishing a streamer on a sink tip line, a sink, sinking leader, might be another technique to uh, bring you into fish. You could also take advantage of the, the fish cafes, the, the three days that you have available to come in and talk about you know, the, the weather, the, the water was happening, but, because um, you, you do a beautiful job of going through the buys that, you know, that are um, working on the water for that moment, and what flies you've seen out, you know, insects you have seen out there. Well, thank you. And I think we have to get that into practice. We're going out fishing today. Yep. Heavy rain, the rising river, so it's going to be a little bit hard work, but we just have to try, don't we? That's right. At as long as you have good gear, everything is okay. At least and a meal. Yeah, and a meal. At least within 15 minutes, we know what a fish feels like in this weather. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. and. Uh, Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Let's go fishing.